why we pay program. Or I guess we have uh, I don't know, a bunch of people. That's why we group program. Okay, awesome. It's cool. So now that builds correctly. So now the last step is to automate the building of the modules. Uh, so we already have a build module task. And what it currently does um, is it enqueues a bunch of tasks uh, for the player to build. Player place building task. So what I want to do instead of player place building is build building task, which will then handle the clearing of the area um, and the placing of the actual building, which means that now, as long as I have my imports up to top correct, build building, tassel, build building task, awesome. Uh, come back to my control, I can get rid of this line I can put my build building module back in. So this should go and place down my miner on iron and my uh, furnace next to it, ready to receive. Yeah, Psycho, uh, almost. The, the, check, um, the check up here for whether it was finished do, did actually check if it was zero. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe we just didn't notice that it didn't say that it was finished. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> okay. So now we should see it actually just all will work nicely. We're going to attempt to navigate through trees. We're doing a brilliant job of it. Good job. Bada bing. Put down the two pieces of our module. Now, uh, one thing that I uh, will say is a little bit unfortunate and weird is that it did not correctly match these four tiles being iron ore deposits. Um, as you can you can kind of see over over here in this area when I mouse over that, um, the expected resources are iron and copper, uh, and it looks like here it's it's chosen copper for some reason. So that's potentially a bug with how um, it's the the build module task um, selects the area because the tile prototype name is the tile name. No, that's okay. So if the resource not nil. Find entities found resource for each entity we found the resource. What is this? Can build that position. Oh. I see, I didn't do enough work in this uh, in this loop here. So actually we need to find the resource and we need to check that This is for each item. Oh. Wait, for each item in pairs, self module geometry, if the item needs the particular resource, looking in the offset position. So this implies that on this tile, the bottom left tile of the miner, there is both copper and iron. only resource, the only type of resource. Um, yes. Loud. Hmm. Not totally sure why that is happening that way. So you're saying if there are any entities on the tile that are not that kind, then we want to set found resource to false.
But the entity has to be also a resource entity because it could be a doodad on top. Could be a decorative, a decorative something. Uh, okay, well, back to the old prototypes list. Entity. Uh, demo resources. Is it possible for there to be two kinds of resources on top of each other that are different? I don't think so. Uh, build module. Okay, so let's say else if uh, entity dot prototype dot type equals resource. So the name doesn't match, and the entity that we're looking at is a resource. Uh, then we're going to return false, because that means that there is another resource on that tile, which is not the one that we want. I don't know if this is possible, but I mean, I guess if we cut out some extra cases, it's probably not the end of the world. So let's try that again. Bring me the iron. Oh, nice. We might actually see it clear the trees this time, if he ever makes it there. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. This is how you know that I'm not playing by hand, because no human would run around like this and get stuck in a tree. Okay, I did that by hand. No, you stupid guy. <laughs> the Pathfinder is not very good. Okay. No hands. Perfect. Works great. Let's see if I can find that case again where copper and iron is very close on top of each other. Oh, he tried so hard. Uh, this is not going to be that case, but he could actually do the same thing with stone. Um... Okay, really? Unable to place building. Probably because I'm inside where it's trying to go. There we go. So, in that case, uh, we probably need to... If you're unable to place the building, we... I don't know what you need... What the best thing is to do there. I guess I just need to make sure my move task is, like, to a higher position and a better accuracy. Um, real quick, while I'm here... We're finding entities. We're looking for them... Let's do a quick sort here. Um, now that I know how to do table sort on resources. Function A and B. Oh, I want it to be JavaScript so bad. Uh, and then this is going to be basically the stuff from this clear area task. Uh, this sort function here. Uh, I could actually close over that in my utils. Hmm, I don't have a good YouTube for it yet. Okay. Return, return. Uh, so then this will make sure that I'm looking at resources that are closest to the player first. So it's not going to be, again, none of this really implies any actual good planning for where you want to go to do your, um, do your, your building of your base modules. But it should build it at the closest uh, set of things. Perfect, great. Um, although... He did build it on this square that does not have any uh, iron ore. So there's also that. Oh, I wonder if the entity... So, I'm, I'm using the position of the tile. And I'm pretty sure the coordinate for the tile starts in the top left. So it's possible that the entity for that iron ore is there, overlapping the tile. Which would mean uh, that what I want is actually the center of the tile when I'm searching. So the position needs to be offset by half of a tile. Let's say, uh, let's call it tile offset. And I'm going to do it in caps because I know that it's a 
Um, <clears throat> I know that it's a constant. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, are we searching? Is that what's happening here? No, I wouldn't be able to move if we were searching. Why is this so laggy? Team? Maybe there was nothing viable in range? Did I break it? Factory, no. I mean, it's not, it's like 12, 13%. It's not that out of the ordinary. It's not like it's wrecking my computer. OBS is still running fine. But like, look at this. Chunk, 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 chunk. Um, so I'm wondering if that means that we're not able to find a place. I should be writing into the logs. Well, I guess I could look at the logs. Uh, let's open a new log window for that. Uh, app data. Roaming. Factorio. Uh, script output. Here you go, you ready for the wall of, uh, wall of can't find a place? There it is. Cannot build burner to furnace. Alright, so that was a little bit too aggressive to, uh, That was a little bit too aggressive to put the plus 0 0.5. Um, I'm wondering why... Why that is. Is there always resource entities there that are not... The resource that we require? I mean, I could also put here, find entities filtered, and set type equals resource. That would give you a way shorter list of stuff here. Uh, we're also doing that when we find this thing here, right? Oh, we find the one, the specific kind of thing that we're looking for. Okay. Okay, so that fixed the problem. Seems broken. I concur. Okay, that worked. Okay. He runs through the trees with the greatest of ease. It's the Factorio man on the flying trapeze. You can do it, buddy. You can make it to the east. The promised lands in the east. Don't worry about those trees in your way. Just run around them. There you go. Good job. Hey, we did it. All right, it's nearly midnight. Uh, I have got uh, my Factorio guy successfully 